What up Fortnite fam, it's time for update 18.10 and as you probably know by this point, we're going to go over everything you need to know in under 5 minutes. But first, if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, we've got the perfect thing for you. World class coaching that anyone can benefit from, with coaches that are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the last week alone, our coaches helped 100 students climb from contenders to champions. So if you want to be next, visit Pro Guides in the link below right now. Okay, first up, let's go over the map changes. At the moment, the only map change that we can really see has happened near Steamy Stacks, where one of the buildings in the Kevolution Energy Plant has seemingly been destroyed with a cube emerging from the basement. That may be the only change right now, but a new POI has actually been added into the game files. Cube Town. It looks like there's a ton of chests in this area, but there's no telling when it's actually going to go live in the game. Something else that's going to go live at some point over the course of the next week is the new dual crossbows, called the Dual Fiend Hunters. These Dual Fiend Hunters will go from the common grey rarity all the way up to the orange legendary rarity. At common, they'll do 28 damage to a player, while at legendary, they'll do 34 damage to a player. The Chili Jug Splash has now been added. Unlike the normal Chug Splash, this version of the throwable healing item will only heal your health or shields for 20 points. However, it will also grant anyone hit by the splash the Chili Pepper Speed Boost effect. You might find that these new Chug Splashes are pretty rare though, because they're actually an exotic. You'll only find them by exchanging bars with the Brat or by finding them in Loot Llamas. Alongside the Chili Chug Splash, the original version of the Chug Splash has been added back into the game, which can be picked up as normal ground loot. Alongside the Jug Splash, the Hunter's Cloak has been re-added to the game as well and actually takes less meat to make than before. If you're into doing challenges and you want to earn as much XP as possible, then you'll be happy to know that four new punch cards have been added to the game. These are owned by Big Mouth, Grim Fable, Night Hare, and Raven. Each of these punch cards include five new challenges to complete. On the subject of challenges and XP, Epic Games has acknowledged that the situation regarding XP is less than ideal this season. To help players reach the now released super styles, the XP earned through daily punch card missions has been greatly increased. All shared quests will also have XP rewards as well as their bar rewards. All new and future character punch cards have had to substantially increased XP rewards, so completing those is a good move. Finally, weekly punch card XP has actually been reduced, which is apparently to lessen the setback of missing them. Alright, let's talk balance changes next. In core playlists, the slipstream will be disabled at the final circle, but in competitive playlists, the movement mechanic will go offline at phase 5 of the storm. Chug cannons are gone, and in their place are the spicy chili chug splashes. In competitive, the sideways anomalies will despawn earlier than they did previously. As well as that, the railgun has been removed from the playlist. The Hunter's Cloak also will not be included in competitive playlists. With all that in mind, have fun now that the hype has been reset. There's been a couple of changes to the Imposters LTM. For a start, if there's someone AFK in your game of Imposters, they'll actually now get kicked out of the game, which should stop those annoying AFK moments from happening in the future. There's also a new version of Imposters on the way, one that actually allows voice chat in game, which should be an interesting take on the mode. Okay, let's go into all the leaked skins and cosmetics that were added to the game files this patch. First up, the skins. We've got the Curdle Scream Leader, Skeletara, Lone, and Geometric. For the Backblings, there's the Llama Abomination, Wolf Moon Crest, Sockets, and the Floating Island. For the Harvesting Tools, there's the Might and Malice, the Axe Ray, the Chimeraxes, and the Cubax. There aren't any new gliders, so straight on to the wraps. We've got the Plumage, Goo Buddies, and the Cubic Assimilation. Okay, Fortnite fam, that's all we've got for today's update. All things said and done, quite a few things have changed this week. Rumor has it that next week there's going to be an 18.21 update, so maybe that will have some more spooky offerings considering it'll be the first update of October. With that said, I'll catch you in the next one.